Dit is redelijk onrechtvaardig als je binnen 25 jaar na democratie nog water moet andra uit die rivier uit. The people living here, most of them are not actually, they, they, they never finish, you know, senior school or, or matric. So when we think about injustice and justice, in the South African context, we need to remind ourselves of the experience of apartheid and how theology and religion was used to legitimize these systems of oppression. In a world where the vast majority of people are religious, it is in such a world that we need to prioritize the study of and reflection on theology and religion in order to ensure that oppression does not take place. So the Bayes Nadia Centre for Public Theology plays a crucial role in helping to bring together these very important sectors of society. The Bayes Nadia Centre was started by Professor Russell Bortmann in 2002 to continue the kind of work that Bayes Nadia was involved in. We are primarily a research institute to where we have a dialogue amongst the academics, the church, as well as the larger society on things that can help the country to go forward. We conduct rigorous and credible research about, for example, how the church should respond to persons who have a same-sex orientation. We look at issues of good governance. Economic issues issues of land, issues of restitution, issues on justice, issues on reconciliation, the high rates of gender-based violence. We have projects related to Israel and Palestine. We have conferences for churches. We work with churches in contextual Bible reading. We focus on issues of interest. One of the workshops that we addressed this issue in was attended by a church leader from Oudshoorn. His community experienced land dispossession. I was born in this, in this village. Uh, it's called Grootkraal. And the mountain range that you'll see uh, behind me, it's called the Swartberg Mountains. This is where our roots are. The community had been using this small piece of land for over 200 years to have their church services in and to have the children of the community go to school there. In the year 2009, there was a move to, to, to close the school, to close the church. The first thing the new owner did was to get the community evicted. So when I attended the workshop on Naboth's Vineyard, I just realized this is our story. He said, this is us. We are Naboth. We will not let go of our land. So public theology, it really go beyond the boundaries of the church order, so to speak, but it engages on issues of interest. So the work of the Bayes Nadia Centre happens mainly through projects and units. We have uh, the Gender Unit, the Unit for Justice and Reconciliation, the Bonifer Unit and the Unit for Religion and Law. And then we have various other projects which are related specifically to the kind of work that Bayes Nadia was involved in. We long for narratives that represent the complexity of life. The topic of reproductive <laughs> loss for the longest time has been met with an overwhelming silence. This word came to me, the miscarriage of justice. We have uh, collections of uh, archival material, historical material, uh, Bayes Nadia, Russell Bortman, uh, we've got a collection on Denise Ackerman. So part of what we seek to do is to address issues of public concern. After I came from, the, from that contextual Bible study, I said to myself, this is not going to happen here, uh, I'm going to fight.
going through the story with the method of contextual Bible reading, affirmed him in the belief that they had to continue the fight. After nine years, the Supreme Court declared that the church has got a right, the community has got a right. And therefore, we move in the direction where we hope to be able to sit on this ground. I think the value of the center itself will give young people that broader vision on how to live a good life in a democratic South Africa as leaders for society.